One of the most common beginner projects with Arduino is creating a fading LED effect. This effect involves gradually changing the brightness of an LED from low to high and then back to low, creating a smooth transition. These are the following materials needed. Arduino Uno, LED, resistor, breadboard, and jumper wires. Let's do the connection. Connect the LED to the breadboard. Connect the shorter leg or cathode of the LED to a resistor. Then connect the other end of the resistor to the negative grid on the breadboard. Connect the Arduino's ground pin to the negative grill of the breadboard. Connect the Arduino pin 9 to the longer leg or anode of the LED. Arduino provides a wide range of built-in examples to help users understand and implement various functionalities using the Arduino platform. These examples cover a diverse set of applications from basic input-output operations to complex sensor integrations and communication protocols. For this tutorial, we will use the paid built-in example of the Arduino. Navigate to the file menu at the top left corner of the window. From the file menu, select Examples. This will open a submenu with various categories of examples. Choose the Basics category, then select the Fade example. With the example code, you will notice some texts or messages that are not part of the code. These are what you call Comment Out. In programming, Commenting Out refers to the practice of adding comments to the code. Comments are non-executable lines that explain the functionality of the code provide author information, or make notes. Commenting out improves code readability, debugging, and collaboration. There are two main types of comments in Arduino. Single line comments begin with double slash and continue until the end of the line. They are used to add short explanation or notes on a single line. The other one is multi-line comments. Start with the symbol slash asterisk and end with the symbol asterisk slash. They can span across multiple lines and are typically used for longer explanation or for temporarily disabling a block of code. For the first part of the code, it defines the pin variables and other variables that will be used inside the main code. Kindly note that if you want to change the pin you are using, be sure to use another PWM capable pin in the Arduino Uno board, PWM pins are identified with a tilde sign. Pins are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. For this example, inside the set of function, it declares pin 9 to be output. By the way, since we will use the analog write function to send a PWM signal, there is no need to declare the pin mode in the set up. This is because the analog write function automatically sets the pin mode to output when it is called. In short, whether you include the pin mode as output or not, still it will work. For this experiment, let's comment out this line to prove it. Let's proceed to the main code. The analog write function is used to generate a PWM signal. PWM or pulse width modulation is a technique used to control the brightness of an LED or any other device that requires a variable voltage. The analog write function looks a lot like digital write. We still need to specify which pin we want to control. But instead of a restrictive digital output option, we get to choose any number between 0 and 255 for the output. A 0 will output 0 volts, 255 will output 5 volts, 128 which is half will do about 2.5 volts, and so on. With our example code, the variable brightness is holding the value between 0 to 255. With the initial value of 0 that we declare in the first part of the code, as the loop runs over and over, the brightness value increases due to the paid amount variable. 
and when the value becomes 255 or more, the variable feed amount becomes negative that will reduce the brightness as the loop runs over and over until it reaches to zero that will make the variable fade amount to positive again and will increase the brightness and so on. To see the dimming effect, it includes 30 milliseconds of delay. Now, let's upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, you should see the LED connected to the specified pin fading in and out smoothly.